The complete blood count CBC test is a blood test that measures various components of the blood, including red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. It is a routine test that is often ordered as part of a regular checkup or to help diagnose a wide range of medical conditions. A CBC test typically includes the following measurements. Hemoglobin HB. Hemoglobin is a protein found in red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. A low hemoglobin level can indicate anemia. Hematocrit HCT. Hematocrit is the percentage of red blood cells in the blood. A low hematocrit level can also indicate anemia. Red blood cells RBC. Red blood cells carry oxygen to the body's tissues. A low RBC count can indicate anemia. Mean corpuscular volume MCV. MCV measures the average size of red blood cells. A high MCV can indicate certain types of anemia. Mean corpuscular hemoglobin MCH. MCH measures the average amount of hemoglobin in red blood cells. A high MCH can indicate certain types of anemia. Mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration MCHC. MCHC measures the concentration of hemoglobin in red blood cells. A low MCHC can indicate certain types of anemia. Platelet count. Platelets help with blood clotting. A low platelet count can increase the risk of bleeding. White blood cells WBC. White blood cells help fight infections. An abnormal WBC count can indicate an infection or other medical condition. Differential white blood cell count. This measures the percentage of different types of white blood cells, including neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. An abnormal differential count can indicate an infection or other medical condition. A CBC test can provide important information about a person's overall health and can help diagnose a wide range of medical conditions, including anemia, infections, and blood disorders. CBC morphology refers to the examination of the size, shape, and color of the various cells present in a complete blood count CBC, test. CBC morphology helps to identify abnormalities in the blood cells, such as changes in size, shape, and color, which may indicate certain medical conditions. The following are some examples of CBC morphology. Anisocytosis, this is a term used to describe red blood cells that vary in size. Poikilocytosis, this is a term used to describe red blood cells that vary in shape. Hypochromia, this is a term used to describe red blood cells that have a reduced amount of hemoglobin and appear paler in color. Hypochromia, this is a term used to describe red blood cells that have an increased amount of hemoglobin and appear darker in color. Macrocytosis, this is a term used to describe red blood cells that are larger than normal. Microcytosis, this is a term used to describe red blood cells that are smaller than normal. Anemia, this is a condition where the number of red blood cells in the blood is lower than normal. Iron deficiency, a condition in which low MCV, MCHC, HCT and hemoglobin near 10.0 are found. Iron deficiency, a condition in which low MCV, MCHC, HCT and hemoglobin less than 10.0 are found. Leukocytosis, this is a condition where there is an abnormally high number of white blood cells in the blood. Leukopenia, this is a condition where there is an abnormally low number of white blood cells in the blood. Lymphocytosis, this is a condition in which there is an abnormally high number of lymphocytes in the blood. Neutrophilia, this is a medical condition in which there is an abnormally high number of neutrophils in the blood. Monocytosis, this is a medical condition characterized by an abnormally high number of monocytes in the blood. Eosinophilia, this is a medical condition characterized by an abnormally high number of eosinophils in the blood. Basophilia, this is a medical condition characterized by an abnormally high number of basophils in the blood. CBC morphology is an important aspect of CBC testing and helps to provide additional information to healthcare providers for the diagnosis and treatment of medical conditions.